Yes, people, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good afternoon, good night to, you know, wherever. Um, Alright, what I want to do is show you another bed. It's just a simple bed, right? Um, a simple pine is fine. Alright, we have a decent up here. Right. It's fine. Uh, a straight piece. We have different pieces of wood. Remember, I explained in my videos prior different pieces of wood, different representing different people of Trinidad and Tobago or different people, right? We have pieces of wood in in it, right? And that would be like, uh, we have ends and it has a shape to it. We put it inside, so we have used a circle, a uh, piece that was there, and it's different. So you have a piece of, and that's the thing for people to do. You know, if you have, you like if you cut all patterns and you get the outside of the patterns or the inside of the patterns and there's different pieces of wood, you can take it and you can inlay it in your idea <laughs> inside and create your own pattern. Just like tiles, um, um, uh, clothes, sheets, pillows, all these cloth, etc. etc. How they have patterns, you have the different patterns that you can use on. You can do the same thing with furniture, so you end up with a different kind of looking furniture, right? And then now we have the top piece. Okay? If you look at the top piece, it's the same concept, right? It's only at the bottom piece you have this piece of wood here would have been um, um, mahogany, but here, this is a piece of apple, I mean I'm sick, and the mahogany is a circle, and we have the same concept on the top. It's a square bed, you know, everything modern, square, you know, everything. clean lines and things, modern. So we do that, right? And uh, whereas pine that we use, and the only thing about the pine is that you get to see all the different grains inside the pine wood. If you look at, you see this look like, I don't know, water. <laughs> Water could be, could be um, anything, sand, whatever. But we're looking at the grains, so we leave these grains and we put whatever shade on it. And well, you know, we have the two by six sideways as I show you in the rest of videos. That with the bolt system that holds it here, and then you have the mattress that goes on top. If it's a 12-inch mattress, it will fit from here to back here, and you can put the pillows. So the pillows will stop. Somewhere right here, according to how much pillows you put. If you put plenty, then it will cover the pattern. If not, it won't. But this is a low, uh, a low bed, and it's a, well, it's a, you know, it's not a, it wouldn't be an expensive bed. These are not expensive beds, but I think, you know, they're one of a kind, but, you know, people could build their, you know, and I don't sell them. Also, it's a kind of an art, you know, so we have the head and tail, right, piece. And was I here one time? Um, we have a lot of people, um, some of them, some people, you know, I get messages of people saying that, you know, they, they can't, some of it, they can't understand how, you know. One of the things is that I have been living in Punja for 20 years, 20 plus years I've been living with them, you know. So, number one, with anything you have to, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get it one time. You know, it will take you some time for you to get it. Because I can remember <laughs> when the first time I had a bed to build and I was doing furniture, but I never really saw it done the way that it is. I had problems. And then my partner come and he helped me and he showed me. And after the first two times, and because, and that's how it is with Woodwood. You have to start from the base, anything. If you get a proper idea of it, you have to start from the basics, you know, with a hammer, because that's how I live. That's why some people, but I learned from an old man, an old, and he was, um, and he was, um, when he died, he was eight years. You know, a lot of us learn from him. And the first thing we did, they give you the idea of using a tenon saw, a jack plane, a scraper, and they give you a block of wood. Right? He used to give you, a, they give you a block of wood, and you put it in a, in a piece of wood like this, right? And if you have something to sand, so you'll be there all day like this. Right? And you will be silent. Right? That's how we, when we learn trade, 
if you could see, and if you look at it, you will see when it's standing like that, you know it works, right? So the point that I'm trying to make is that, um, you know, yes, I'm teaching this sometimes to, you know, some of the people who I give some of this knowledge to, they have more years of woodwork in other words that they can already use hand tools and they just, you know, we just building ideas and doing different things in a group of people, right? Um, but what I want to do is, since I, you know, I have a few people, right, and some of them not from here, and they're not from here, they're from other places. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop a little bit, and I'm going to try to see if I can put together some basic videos from from the ground from coming up, you know, like you know, building things with, you know, the and saw. You know, you're going to have to use the hammer, the marking gauge, so forth and so forth. And we're going to use some of the old time tools. You know, I have some other old time tools. You know, like this drill here. We use it to drill. Um, this this drill, you know. And, you know, this is actually anything like this, this drill to drill wood. And to drill uh, stone. How you make the bit, right? So what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna we're gonna be using some of these things, right? And that, for me to do these things, that was gonna take me some time because I'm gonna have to sit here and I have to go into the whole process. You're gonna have to start from sharpening, using a sharpening stone and cutting talons and scrapers, and then you're gonna come up. Because one of the things that I have to tell people good work too, right? You need to have this basic function before you go on even the basic hand tools, right? Because the reality is I see some people using hand tools. I know that they might be just electric hand tools. And the functions and the way how they would hold it. <laughs> I know that <laughs> you know, so so, so <laughs> that that is not the proper way, in other words, for somebody who's been using it for twenty years, twenty plus years. Right? Holding it in that way, if you don't know what you're doing with power tools, you can damage yourself. In other words, you can take off your fingers. So, we're going to want that. So, what you have to do, you have to have the basic knowledge of woodwork in terms of, you have to start with using a hand saw. You must be able to use the hand saw. You have to know how to hold it, the proper way how to hold it. And you know, you don't really hold it like this because then it's going to be wobbling around. So, you have to know what finger. And not all people, some people might use two fingers, so, but you must have a guide finger on, on the answer, right? You must have, and you know, as I tell people, you know, after me with all this accident, <laughs> see all the hand them bend up like that, you know. So I, I, when this hand gets too much pressure, I have to use this hand. Must, you know, try and fix that. So, you know, so you have to, you learn to use this thing before, especially you come on bigger machine. Like the table saw and different one of these because sometimes they stick you if you cut in a piece of board and stick you know you have to know how the board is going to flow if you're going to you know what what to do how you're going to raise it up so these are the things that you know even though i'm seeing people telling you know showing people how to do things on uh, uh, and you know like you do it yourself power tools is something that you have to have knowledge about to use it to use it properly Otherwise, you can damage yourself. Trust me, I see a lot of, you know, it's not something that you have to fear, but you have to learn about it. Like everything else, you learn to drive a car, fly a plane, and all these things. Woodwork is nothing different. This is nothing mystical or magical about it. The idea is you have to learn it. Because, you know, and as you go up, you learn and you're going up and you, you know, you have to learn and you learn and you try things for yourself, not just use it like how, you know. So, don't try to do it like me. Right? Because I didn't try to do it like the other fellow, that's why I am different. You know, I look at different things and put different things in there. And I keep telling people it's different things that sell. Whatever you do, you just have to follow the basic the basic size or the basic frame. And you can put your own ideas in there. Right? So, I'm going to slow it down. It's going to take me some time. You know, as I say, you know, I ain't shown that here, you know. Uh, I did my due. In other words, in my work, I put some ideas here. I mean, I think it's time for other people because I am not, I mean, I alone only take the brunt of it not going right or the shop too old, you know, all the kind of things, you know, the push, the pull, let's go. I alone don't want to be taking that. So I think that, you know, in Trinidad, I am just a small workshop, you know, doing small, as you can see, 
You know, I, no, I think I have to try to take it up because you know I have some friends. <coughs> They're laughing at me. Yes, yes, you know, I have some friends laughing at me. They're laughing at me, saying that I've gone through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I ain't taking the work and I'm trying to put this knowledge up here. You know, some of them, because somebody gives some people, you know, they force me to somebody to give them a job all the time. And you know, they always get a job. So they laugh at me because I stop and I choose to put some work up here for the young fellas who come in. They even have some of them who say that they're not going to train anybody. You understand? But they're always looking for people to work for them. So then, how it works? You know, so, you know, my partners and them who just be laughing and think that I'm going to. No, I ain't going to. I took some time off to try and document myself and what I can do. And I think it's time that some of you all should do that. On top of that, if I decide to make these bets, or mirrors, or anything, the same thing over and over. From here on, I have advertised myself enough. And I get a nice, you know, I meet different people who is willing to pay a little more money for something that is good. So that was the whole purpose of it, why I was doing it. You understand? And, you know, I couldn't be doing that Advertising myself and running a workshop with people who I don't, who don't know nothing about food work. It's very hard for us to go forward, you know. So as I tell my partners, I don't already laugh too much, you know, because I mean, eventually you're going to have to come up here and do something too, if you want to promote yourself, you know.